a royal priesthood, right. a holy nation, right. called for God's own glory. Yes. And we've got to understand that. We have to have some pride within ourselves. No, we're not going to be a crowded church. All right. Amen. No, I ain't T.D. Jakes. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise God. Right. But I'll teach you the truth if you listen. And the truth will set you free if you listen. And if you're obedient, no matter how they raise the gas prices, no matter how they keep raising uh, your rent and your electric and your gas bills and your grocery bill, they want it so the working class people can stay under the yoke. And as long as a multi-millionaire keeps his foot on the working class people's throat, amen, they got you at your mercy. But I want you to understand one thing. God will always make a way of escape. And God is providing for us right now, even as I speak. Hallelujah. They are cutting down jobs everywhere. But don't you know God going to provide a way for you? That's right. Hallelujah. I don't care if they fire you from one job. You look for another. Hallelujah. God going to make a way of escape for you. Because you belong to the remnant church. And if your children go astray, keep praying for them. Keep before the mouth of the Lord's house. Keep the blood covering over them. Yeah. How, if you stay right with God, how, and you pray for your children that go going astray, you can bring them back in the holiness. Right. But somebody got to defend the faith. Yeah. Somebody got to be in church. Yeah. Somebody got to be praying. Hallelujah. Yeah. Somebody got to be living something. Yeah. Oh, praise God. Yeah. Let me get to my text here. Yeah. Jeremiah 23. Mm -hmm. And I say to the church of Christ, Shame on you. Right. I remember when you didn't defend homosexuality. Right. I remember when you used to try to stand for something. Yeah. Anytime you go against the word of God and you call yourself a preacher, there's something wrong with your belief. Either you're crazy or you don't believe the word. Because there's certain things that have to bring an, ab an abolition of fear within you. And I found out something else. God showed that with me many years ago, but he brought it to my remembrance. Early this morning, mm -hmm. when I was meditating on the Lord, AIDS is a homosexual out, disease that God brought on the homosexual community because men are supposed to be the leaders. Right, and when man fails, then the woman is going to fail. Amen. So when a homosexual comes into evidence, you can look for a lesbian to come into evidence. Amen. Well, goodness, if a man is a sissy, well, what if a woman got to look forward to? Right, right. So I'm trying to let you know, God put that disease on men because of their abject, gross sin right. and disobedience to the rule of nature God made from the very beginning. He made male and female and he never made nothing in between. Oh, hallelujah to God. Yes, Lord. And a man can't make no baby right. with another man. Right. And a woman can't make no baby with another woman. Well, now that ought to be self-evident that something is not balanced enough. Right. And it takes a man and a woman to make a baby uh -huh. and to, uh, as God said, go and replenish the earth. Yes. And he joined them together, Amen. husband and wife, male yes. and female, right. and told them to multiply. Yes. How's two men going to multiply? Yes. But what they are doing they are systematically yes. coming in to mainstream and they are trying to take away the coding of decency and the coding of right and wrong. Yes. When you don't have a guideline yes. for humanity to follow, mm -hmm. then you got chaos everywhere. Yes. So you got men saying I'm trapped in a woman's body and women saying I'm trapped in a man's body. And you got all this foolishness. And they are so persevering mm -hmm. yeah. in their admonition until they got government people, right. president, That's right. representatives, congressmen, senators, they're all afraid right. of the homosexual community. Preachers now are afraid to stand up and defend the Bible truth. What is happening to this world? Chaos is coming on this land. And it's going to get worse if it ever gets better. And if we can understand the condition that we are in, and understand that jobs are going to be cut back. Amen. There are going to be people put out of homes. There, I saw in Ann Arbor when we were there last week. They didn't reduce them, them, them apartments used to be six and seven hundred dollars a month. I saw a sign up, rent two hundred and fifty dollars, no money down. Amen. They trying to fill up as many places as they can. Why? There's no money. People know people can't pay two hundred and fifty dollars if they ain't got two hundred and fifty dollars. If you ain't got no job. Hallelujah. This is why I said we've got to understand and follow the leader God set before you. If I tell you to move into one of our places that we own, do that. Without any reservation. Well, 
said, I don't want to live all cooped up. Would you rather sleep in the park? Right. Y M C A. Salvation Army. You know they put them out of there too. I'm saying, brothers and sisters, we've got to understand. God has one family, and we are the family of God. We don't look at no color, complexion. We don't look at none of that foolishness. And I don't want to hear none of that foolishness. Not, not here. We're not no Muslims. We're a child of God. And God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. And we find out that he was the begotten son. He also was the father. Praise God. So I'm saying, brothers and sisters, we got to understand. We're faced with all kind of myriads of hatred. Yes. And we've got to overcome all of that yes. and stay together as brothers and sisters Amen. under the blood covering for Amen. each other, loving each other, Amen. being there for each other, Amen. praying for each other, Amen. praying for the children. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. When we turn them loose in the public school, yes, pray for them. Lay, mothers, lay your hand on them before they go to school Hallelujah. and keep the blood over them. Right. School teaches how to hip hop, Amen. how to use profanity. Amen. But they won't teach him how to pray. No, that's, that's supposed to be against the law now. Glory, hallelujah. But when they come to true that, they're going to learn how to pray. Thank you, Jesus. Learn how to sing the song of Zion. They're not trying to be like Michael Jackson. They're not trying to be like uh, uh, Britney Spears. That's They're going to be upright. With some character. If you don't build character and a child is young, how can you develop a character when they're old? All right, teach. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Jesus. All right. Little children gonna wear a tie and a suit when they That's come to right. church. Right. Right. Praise God, because they respect the house of God. Right. And the adults set the example for them. Right. Praise God. Can I get to my text now? Yes. <laughs> Chapter 3. I'm not gonna be before you long. Take your time. Pick up verse uh pick up in verse 1. Woe well be unto the pastors that destroy and scatter the sheep of my pastors. Now God is condemning pastors mm -hmm. who violate the word of God. Amen. We're all supposed to speak the same thing. Amen. That there's no division amongst us. Right. Watch now. <coughs> Therefore thus saith the Lord God of Israel against the pastors that feed my people. Ye have scattered my flock and driven them away and have not visited them. Behold, I will visit upon you the yes. evil of your doing. You have and not evil. visited them. You have not taught the people the truth. Yes. When you teach people the truth today, many times they reject it because they don't want to hear that. That's right. But if you don't teach a child ABCs, mm -hmm. they'll never learn how to read and write. I don't care what kind of intellect they have. I don't care how smart they are. Mm -hmm. If you don't teach them ABCs, they'll never learn how to read and write. Amen. Now, God in his wisdom knew this. When he created humanity, he gave them a freedom of choice. Uh -huh. Do whatever you want to do, but I want you to serve me and worship me. Hallelujah. But by man being so diverse and so independent of his own way, he decided not to follow God because he thought his way was better than God's way. All right. So God then had to send the word, yeah. the Bible, yeah. which is the living word of God, yeah. and then he sent a prophet to Teach the people Amen. out of the Bible Amen. what they ought to know. Amen. Praise God. Amen. Now, turn to Romans first chapter. Amen. And I hope preachers in the uh, uh, that Church of Christ, I hope you're listening. Mm -hmm. I, I know you read it before. 